shivers. Unpull, and here I am in my space now. Um, I've got my work light here, and my electronics bench is all pretty much set up. Um, board heater, roof oven, desoldering unit, soldering, oscilloscope, signal generator, and cleaner. So as you can see, I've got things half set up. Uh, going here will be another hutch, still currently under construction. It will have my Macintosh and two supplementary screens with it to do my, obviously do my CAD work and video editing work. And eventually in the far corner over here will be my 3D printer. So, basically, um, videos that I've got um, been planned out. Um, I'm going to be showing a build video of, um, of this. This is my uh, interface board for a arcade using a Hi-Fi Vary for the audio. I got these PCBs made from PCBWay. It incorporates a coin counter, or sorry, coin pool. Reason being because the most of the arcades that I want to emulate expect separate um, coin inputs or coin mechs, and I don't want to have to put multiple mechs. Um, so I had to go for a more cost-effective solution. Also, um, I am working on a more updated version of this board, but function more as a main board. It was originally designed as a Compute Module 4 board, but due to the shortage of Compute Module 4s here in Australia, um, I've had to resort to actually using a Pi mounted upside down in the board to do it. Eventually, I will um, do a version of the board that uses Compute Module 4, but until the supply shortages are resolved, there is not a lot I can do. So, as you can see, things are coming along relatively well, and basically, in the coming videos, you should see me assembling this board here, and also working on various other things. Plus, I'll do a build video for my next arcade, which will be a four-player arcade utilizing a 46-inch TV as a screen. Moving forward after that though, that because that, I've got that screen for cheap, I'll be it'll be a Sanders line using 43 inch. So please subscribe to keep keep on top of what's going on. And yeah, I hope to keep bringing more videos in the future. On a, another note, I am going to take on a little bit of a Goliath project. I am going to do a cost reviews version of Mark Grover's um, Lord's Life Super Soaker. I intend to make mine just that little bit larger. And also too, unlike him, I'm not going to be using ultra expensive parts or stuff that's... Well, stuff that's not as easy to come by in Australia, unlike it is in the US. And more or less a design that could potentially be built by most people at home. So keep your eyes peeled for that for that video. It's going to take me a few months to do. Um, yeah, so basically, you'll, as the videos progress, you'll see things add to the top here as I complete myself and everything. And uh, yeah, so have a good day, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.